Okay, we've got our bearing kit. It's got two bearings and it's got two seals in it. We'll open it up and get started. Okay, here's our bearings. Looks like they're sealed on both sides. But we're still going to add grease inside it to because of this race. The race has got to go between there, so we're going to still put grease in it. This one here is your rear seal. See how it's lipped up there? The smaller one is your front seal. Okay, make sure you wipe out the inside of this fairly clean before you start inserting your bearings. Okay, we got it cleaned up pretty good. We're going to put the back bearings in first along with the uh, seal. And I'll show you why after I get it in. When you put the bearings in, you'll notice that right here, there's a lip. That's to keep the bearing from going too far in. So there's no danger in pushing the bearing too far because this lip will stop it. Same on the other side. When you're pushing the bearing in from the back, there's a lip there also, and you cannot push the bearing too far in. And this middle piece here, well, that's where the spacer or the race will go in between the bearings. Okay, what I'm going to use to push this down in there with is this. It's a plate. Fits right on top of there. Uh, you, there's different ways you can push these down in there. But this makes it easier for me to push it down in there. Okay, as you can see there, I got it started. Now I'm going to pound it right on down in there. Okay, the bearing's in. Once you get it started, it should slide right on in with a little force. Okay, we're going to put this seal in. Remember the, the fat one, or the biggest seal, goes in the back. Spring goes in first. The flat part is facing you when you put it in. Seal's in. Now we'll turn around and go to the other side. Okay, there's the bearing on the front. Now the reason I put it in the back first, because I want to drop this race in here. And I want to put grease all the way around that race to where it'll stay in place. Okay, I got grease all the way around it. You have to put grease in here whether your bearings are sealed or not because you have that race floating around. Okay, the front bearing's in. That seal's in there as far as it'll go. Now's a good time to uh, change your brakes or check them. Okay, now we're going to stick our suspension arm back up in there. I'm going to put the uh, shaft through the hole first, get it lined up, and put a bolt through the shock just to hold the uh, arm up on there so we can put the rest of the bolts in it. Okay, there it goes. You can see the bolt is in the shock. The axle is through to where we can put a bolt on it. Now we just got to put our bolt over there and that end and we got that one right down there you can see the wind pretty easily now we'll go ahead and put this right in there we'll slide it right in now we'll put our uh, nut on there with our washers the washer second washer get the nuts on there now we'll put the collar pin in okay the collar pins in the rubber boots on the hubs on okay don't forget to hook your brake cable up and now we got one hose to hook up and we'll go ahead and put the clamp on it like so don't forget to tighten this bolt up okay there's that one Okay, that one's in. Okay, now all I gotta do is throw the tire back on there. I'll turn this around and I gotta do the other side. It's the same process as this side, only the other side I don't have to worry about brake shoes or a brake drum. So just repeat the same procedure for the other side. 